no, 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 no. Um. <laughs> Hello, my name is Zeus, and this is my review of the Ox cast playing Blood Knock Clock Tower. Uh, if you don't know what Blood and the Clock Tower is, it is a social deduction game where everyone has an ability, and there are two teams, good and evil. Uh, the good team's uh, objective is to find the demon and execute them. Uh, the evil team's objective is to kill the good team without getting caught. Kind of nice and simple. Everyone has an ability, even some roles that we'll get to. We'll go through all the roles that we've gone through here. I've gone through the first part of the video and given everyone the roles that they have been given and who they've been seen and what by. Uh, we'll go through the roles one by one because this is the Yogscast. Uh, we're joined by Ben, Bo... Well, not we, but they're, they're joined this time around by Ben, Boba, Boof, Bryony, Daff, Duncan, Ozzy, and Sarah. The storyteller is Lewis Brindley. Uh, unfortunately, I have, I've not watched the Yogscast in a while, so the only three people I know... Actually, it's four. I know of Booth. But I know Ben, Duncan, and Lewis properly. Booth, I've only just started watching her Twitch, so I'm kind of excited to see what she does here. Uh, but, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a few things out of, off, off my chest. Firstly, I th I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this Lewis Brindley, I'm pretty sure this is either his first time storytelling or one of his first few game storytelling. Secondly, and I will get to why in a bit. I'm very sure, I'm going to be like 99% sure that they're not using what we see here on the screen of a grimoire, which is what this is called. They're not using an online version at least uh, to keep track of things. And I'm going to speculate here, even though I cannot prove it, I'm pretty sure they've not got anything written down either. <laughs> because, oh boy. Because once you die in this game, we'll, we'll start with there. Once you die in this game, you still have a part to play. You can still talk to people. And even though you no longer have an ability, you still have, you still have one vote. And how I explain that is, if, for example, Booth here died, uh, you'd see that all of a sudden this heart changed to seven. That means there's seven alive, but there's still eight votes. Eight votes. They still have only one only one vote that they can use so if they were going to execute someone for example duncan and they decided to use the vote by putting their hands up when the clock tower gets around to them that goes away and they have seven votes that will come crucial later on <laughs> because that will explain to my theory of what i think went wrong and what i think may have happened which is fine um or they got very confused. And it's one of the two things. And it can't be... Like, I guess it could be both. It, it could easily be both. Uh, thirdly, sorry there's no script. I'm not entirely sure what script this is. Um, because they've gotten roles from many different versions of the game. From Trouble Brewing, Sex and Violets, and Bad Moon Rising. And for some reason... and. I don't know why, because I've gone through and watched it two or three times just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I'm definitely sure I didn't miss anything. So this is either an editing fail, or it's Lewis forgetting, but the demon is supposed to learn bluffs when they awake, right? They get told that O.C. is their teammate, which also I didn't hear happen in the video. Maybe it got edited out, but if... If someone was watching the Yogscast for the first time, well, not for the first time, but someone watching Yogscast, they have 7 million fucking subscribers. There's a lot. But if someone was watching that and was their first time experience of this game, they would then think that it's perfectly normal for a demon to not know who their minion is, which they're supposed to know, and the demon gets no bluffs and they have to kind of stumble upon a roll. But the demon gets three bluffs, as we'll show down here. I know of two of them, and I've speculated on the third. I, I'm guessing that that was the third one, the investigator, but I'm going to guess that they had, they definitely had Dreamer and Saint, because Daph in the video at one point says, I'm the Saint. So I'm guessing right away he says, I'm the Saint. So he's thinking that's probably what, I was thinking that's definitely one of the busts. He then tells Ozzy that another bluff is Dreamer. So I got Dreamer out of that. 
I didn't hear a third one. I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. But my my initial guess, because there's someone that already knows a townsfolk or a good player's role, my guess is that there probably wouldn't be a librarian, there probably wouldn't be a washerwoman, so my guess is either clockmaker or investigator. I put investigator there. I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not. I will never know. Um, but we never know either, because they never say in the video. Um, but yeah, we can tell you that they don't tell each other, because uh, Death here... We can't wait to find out my You role. are the demon. You are the Ooh. imp. Here we go. You are the killer. Every okay. night you will choose someone who won't wake up. Uh, how do you feel about that? I feel... Really I mean, okay. <laughs> Every night they do choose someone, and it, when they choose someone, they die. Certain roles can accomplish against that, but yes, that is true. Uh, I don't think... I'm pretty sure this is the bit is it where the they... the same as Werewolf, where there's like a lynching a night and a... Yes, it is the same as Werewolf, but... During that entire thing, I've never heard them once. Oopsie daisy, I've done all the wrong things there. Uh, I've never heard them once say Demon Bluffs or who their menu was. So either one or two things has happened. Either Lewis has forgotten, which uh, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they didn't forget. I'm going to say that because they do talk to each other later. And secondly, or, or secondly, I should say, that the editors have just cut that bit out and it's kind of vital it needs to be in the video either or isn't good but it's still workable we can still see what happens and we can still see what uh but during the night we can tell you what everyone was uh, ben got given the fool the fool basically says the first time you die you do not uh basically if you get killed by execution or by demon the first time around you don't die you live but the second time around though you do die and there's not much you can do about it uh, Boba is the Raven Keeper, and Lewis gets this a little bit wrong. Uh, he does get get that a little bit wrong. If I can find when he tells uh, Boba that they're the Raven Keeper, um, if you get killed, so you kind of want to get killed by the imp because in this game, if you die, you can still talk. It's not like TTT. Oh, so, wow. it's so true. It's not like Raven TTT. Keeper. Okay, so there's Raven Keeper. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So have a look at your role. But basically, if you die at night, if you're killed by the mischievous imp. Okay, that's where he gets it wrong. If you die at night is correct. If you die at night as a Raven Keeper, you learn a character. It doesn't specify how you have to die, but if you die at night, you learn the character. For example, there's a character in this game called the Lycanthrope, but I believe if they kill the Raven Keeper, you get the ability. I could be 100% wrong, but that's how other people have story told it to me. Whether that's the case or it shouldn't be the case, I don't know 100%. I, I think it's correct. Not sure from memory, because my memory is shocking. Um, but yeah, it is true that if the demon in this case, which is the only thing on his on this script, as you can see on the on the grim, that could actually kill here. Um, but yes, that you he was right to get to maybe... choose a player and you learn their character. Uh, well, that is true. They get to choose a player and learn their character, but it said on the video there and their role. Not necessarily true. It's not true. You do not learn their role. You learn their character. So, for example, the imp, which is evil, there is certain cases where an imp can be good. We won't go into that now, but there are certain players that they can be. Certain times that they can be good. So they'll learn the character. For example, if Boba had picked Daph, they would learn Daph is the imp. You would not learn alignment. Even though the video said that you do, you do not. Um, Booth being a gambler is weird in this script because... Okay, well, there's two things that are weird about the script. We'll get to that at the end. Booth is the gambler. Say, say, each night, choose a player. Guess the character. If you guess wrong, you die. Nice and simple. Very good. Very easy. So it's basically like a, 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 a luck chance. So basically, like someone says, oh, I'm the, I don't know, I'm the saint, for example. Right? I'm the saint. And they gamble that you're the saint. And if they live, you're probably fine. But if you die, probably not fine. Lewis kind of gets something wrong about this. We'll get to that in a bit after we go through the characters. Uh, Bryony is the grandmother. Very nice role. I love being the grandmother on, on Blood and Cocktails. Really nice. Uh, if you start you start knowing, a good player is a night one role. They only get the first night of ability and that's it. Uh, they start knowing a good character. A good player and their character. 
if the demon kills them, you die too. So basically, if the demon... Because Bryony learned that Sereth is the monk. Correct. Fine with that. And if the demon killed the monk, they both die. Regardless. Very good. Imp, very simple. You choose a player, they die. Uh, and if you choose yourself, the minion now becomes the imp. Basically, that is known as a star pass. I don't know why it's called a star pass. We'll get to that eventually, I assume. I, I don't know. I guess it's because the star player has passed to someone else. That's my assumption. Can't give you any more than that. Now, Duncan, you may notice there's a, there's a little token up here. It says drunk. Now, the drunk reads, you think you are a good townsfolk player, but you are not. You are the drunk. But you think you have that ability. So, in this case, he has been shown the slayer token. The slayer reads, once per game, during the day, publicly choose a player if they are the demon, they die. So basically, you say, I am the Slayer, and I would like to shoot Boba. And if they were the demon, or mark it here, for example, right? If they said Boba, they'll say, like that. And if they were the demon, they'll die. Just instantly. There's nothing they'll do. But if they're not, they'll be fine. They will use their ability uh, on the person. Simple as. Scarlet Woman. Scarlet Woman says... If there are five or more players alive and a demon dies, you become the demon. Travelers do not count. Uh, so basically, if the demon dies, night two, for example, by execution or even by killing themselves, but killing themselves even after that time, the I believe the minion can still become the demon. Pretty sure that's the case. Um, but yeah, the demon, the Scarlet Woman then becomes the demon. The demon dies. Basically, it's a get out of jail free card <laughs> for the evil team, uh, which is always always useful and finally we have sarah the monk which reads each night choose a player not yourself they are safe from the demon tonight so basically if they had chosen a player which i know on the first night because i have watched this video they chose bryony so if the demon had attacked bryony they wouldn't have gotten a kill but if they attack sarah because of the grandchild they both die so basically like that uh, but we, we'll, we'll skip some parts of it, because we, we'll, we'll, we'll skip the rest of this bit, because we'll go into the first night, where I... I, I, I <laughs> it's the weird thing. During the entire first night... And once you've made your choice. I'm pretty sure none of them, by the looks of then things, we'll just send but... go into a secret chat, do oh. they? <laughs> Picking out specific <laughs> roles. Am I right in thinking that only the baddies actually learned which might have stepped up and said, so "No, I." Yeah, I don't think any of them went in for a s secret chat. Not once. This is so weird. I, I don't think I've ever been in a game where everyone on the first day, because I'm looking at the Discord screen here, did them from killing. No one seems to go off at any point. So, have they been told they can't leave? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they're all here. And they're all here for the entirety of the first day. Uh, so to clarify this for people, usually you get your own... If you have a Discord server like this, you have your own separate rooms. It doesn't matter what they're called. You have separate rooms where you and another person can talk about pretty much whatever you want. You can talk about the game, you can talk about not the game, you can talk about your ability, you can talk about something else, it doesn't really matter, but you're supposed to have that. You're supposed to have a way of um, talking to other players. I don't know if they had that here, because later on in Night 2, they seem to go for secret meetings, as it says here later on. But during the first day, they don't, and I've never, I don't, I don't remember being in a game where everyone just decided to town square vibe on the first day. Town Square Fibring is basically a time where everyone just sits around and talks about, well, the game, I guess. People might out, people might say what they are and what they do and what, what uh, they learn, or just genuinely just refuses to talk to people and just stay in town. It looks like everyone did that on the first day? To maybe get them killed or anything. And... Do you Go for little Capuchin monkey. <laughs> yeah, I'm so confused. Uh, so the way nominations work is one of you will nominate someone. You can any of you can nominate anyone at any time, and then we have a. That is true. Any okay, so anyone can nominate at any time. You can nominate once. Every person can nominate once and be nominated once. And how nominations work with a grimoire? Um, basically, let's say I don't know, 
Uh, oopsie daisy. <laughs> I've got I've got I've got fish bucket loaded because I had to. I had trouble finding this. Um, finding this. Uh, finding the script. So, for example, if Boba has said, "I want to nominate Booth," something like this will happen, where you get a clock tower and we go around where people put their hands up. My God. And eventually the clock will go around, marking people. If people put their hands up, it's their choice. But if they don't, they can refrain. And then all of a sudden, and as you can see here on the grimoire, you can see, oh yeah, there's four needed to go through for a vote. So in this example, for an eight player game, four is a majority. And if it's successful, we'll mark them for execution like that. We should basically say, oh, they're the current ones on the block and we'll do another vote, so on and so on until eventually there's no one else that could be voted for or no one else wants to be nominated or whatever. So yeah, basically that's how that works. They are right. You can't just go, hi, I'm Ben, I want to nominate Booth. And we go, hi, I'm Ben, I want to nominate Booth again. You can't do that. It's not allowed. Uh, but you can, if you were Booth, if Ben had nominated you, say, I nominate Ben. You can counter-nominate, uh, but only the once. <laughs> if that makes sense. Only does anyone even... I can't even remember. So does anyone want to nominate? Uh... <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, what do you say there, Lewis? Work is one of you will nominate someone. You could, any of you can nominate anyone at any time, and then we have a round of... of uh, okay, okay, that's okay. That's not 100% true. You can't nominate at any time. It's just at a specific time. But well, you are one close. nomination per round. There's only one. There is one, one, only one nomination per round. That is not the case. That is not the case. There shouldn't be one nomination per round. There is many nominations per round and vote per round so does anyone and there isn't one vote per round you have an unlimited number of votes the one vote per round thing only happens like if for example okay i'm pressing the wrong buttons again so if you died for any reason the one vote rule only applies to if you're dead if you are dead you have a mark like this like i've just marked booth here and you'll get this little tick box next to you. On an online grim, you will see this. If an online grim happens, you will not see this, but you are dead and you would know you are dead. And you would hopefully know the rules because the rules have been explained to you where you have one vote. Uh, and when the vote comes around to them again and they use it by putting their hands up, it'll go down and it'll go away and they no longer have a vote. So it's the only time where one vote can happen in this script, even though I don't know what script this is. Uh, but you yeah, want to I, nominate someone. You might want to nominate someone. It is, I mean, it's how you kill the demon. Um, so he is, he is kind of right. You might want to nominate someone. It's not, not the worst thing in the world to not kill people because, it's, I mean, you do find the demon that way. I always find it a bit weird that people don't like doing that. Okay, so so no one this round. We'll work it out tomorrow. Okay, so <laughs> you can all go to bed and um, and and sleep. Soundly in your bed. Okay, he's, uh, he's God, doing okay. So tired. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing okay so far. You know, there's no no one bad amongst you. You know, you've maybe we there isn't. A... Okay, there are. Th uh, we'll, we'll go to that later on. So yeah, we'll we'll go, we'll go to the um the night the night phase eighty consists like this. Um, Sarah the monk picked Bryony the grandchild the grandmother, and. That was the only thing, apart from Booth, who gambled that Daph, who had been bluffing the entire time of being the saint, as the saint. We'll get to a little thing here. Uh, where is it? There it is. So if we go to this and point here. Like, nah. well, good Sorry, action. Duncan. Good. Hello, Booth. How are you doing? What this is the bit like I to have gamble on. Would you like a to bit roll of a problem dice with. tonight? I would. I'm gonna. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I mean, I can't stop. I've got an addiction. <laughs> When must be from stops, Blackpool. Stop. Um, but I'm going to gamble that Daff is the saint. Ooh, oh, that's bad. Fantastic. That's uh, really bad. Okay, don't tell her it. Don't tell her anything. No. 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 No, 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 no. No. Um. <laughs> um no. No. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's probably the first time. Probably the first time. Never ever tell the gambler that they're wrong. Here's why. So, the gambler, as you heard there, gambled Daff as the saint. But that could have been correct. It could have been. She 
had no clue. Could have been absolutely correct, right? And she could have died any number of different ways. There are many characters in Blood on the Clock Tower that can kill Booth. I don't know what script this is. I I mean, she could die to the imp. The imp could kill her if there was a gossip in the game and the storyteller was a dick. Uh, the storyteller could kill the gambler to prevent that truth from ever airing and make it harder for the good team. The, the, it, many things could kill a gambler other than a gambler. And it's down to the gambler to figure out if they're right or wrong. Uh, it's a part of their ability. They don't, they shouldn't be told when they guess wrong. It's up to them to figure it out. So effectively, Lewis saying that the gambler had gambled incorrectly and had died to their own ability, so they're now effectively dead, they're basically outing the evil team here. They have to be. There's no, there's no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's no way around it. There's no, there's no ifs or buts there. If people believed Boba, which, I mean, she said she's a gambler and she's going to gamble the saint earlier on in the video. We can go back if you want and watch that bit. But I'm pretty sure she said that. And I, I and everyone goes, oh, well, she just dies. Either the demon killed her because she's telling the truth or she got it wrong. It's a 50-50. Especially in a script, which I don't know what the minions are. Um, but she got explicit, explicitly told, explicitly told that she gambled wrong. So therefore, it is only one option left for the town to do, and that's execute death. Because there's literally n no way, especially especially the people that we see here, that that can go wrong. I mean, they, they don't even know what the other mini is. It could be a poisoner, and it could be a poison thing. But at this point on, you may as well just go for it. It's early in the game. If it's if it's that bad, you could just restart restart a game. Just new new roles. It's not. Uh, oh, <laughs> do it! <laughs> what are you doing? Um, but yeah, never tell a gambler that they're wrong. Uh, it's it's often it's down to them to figure it out. Uh, the demon did the only good thing here and decided to kill the grandchild, the monk. But it's the second day, and the second day they spend the first few minutes not doing anything. But then they have the secret meetings. Damn, isn't the imp or I'm drunk? That's pretty much it. Excellent news. Right. Thank you, Duncan. Bye. Well, well, hello. So Duncan says uh, that he shot the shot the imp, which is correct. Uh, he did in the video take his slayer shot and use it on the imp. But because he's drunk, basically means nothing happened. Uh, so he, the storyteller would have gone, uh, the Duncan would have gone, I am the slayer and I shoot death. The storyteller would have gone, uh, thank you, uh, nothing happened. And we just move on. Nothing happened. But the the thing would look like this. Uh, they would have no ability. Uh, and then, yeah. During the night, Sarah and Bryony would have died. So there would have been less of a choice. So like, huh, so Daph is probably not the saint here. I would have, in anyone else's shoes here, and I'm going to guess this is most people's first time. Because this is what makes me suspect that this is most people's first time. No one really goes after Daph the in quotation marks saint here i mean yes it could end the game and i can see why they don't i could 100 percent see why they haven't and they probably would want to leave it to last which is absolutely fine that's that's great but it, it basically it, it just gives death more living time and I, I, at this point if i was playing this now i think i would be gunning for death uh, it does not look good um but yeah right Tough gets. I'm the Scarlet Woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm your minion. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, perfect. But I need to know what roles aren't taken. Um. So the other one that's not taken is. So the saint wasn't taken. The fortune te teller wasn't taken. Uh huh. And the uh the dreamer. So okay. So I was wrong about the third demon buff. They do say the demon buff. So the saint, fortune teller, and dreamer. That's some really good bluffs actually to be fair it's not it's actually some decent bluffs but i think if i was running this game right now and seeing the board as it is because as storytellers we have hindsight right we can see the board no one else can um so my mistake i i did not hear the third one so they do have three bluffs um i, I was on the, on the at this board here thinking there's only one night one roll and that's the grandmother i i would have probably put instead of like a saint and maybe just like they could stumble upon a saint if they really wanted to that's fine 
I would have put like I don't know, investigator or um, something along those lines, right? Just to have a night one roll because if you know you have a Scarlet Woman here, so if the imp dies, they're fine. It's one less evil player, sure, whatever, but the evil team's still fine, relatively speaking. And they were claiming Dreamer or whatever they were claiming. I can't remember, but yeah, and it's it's kind of weird, but. Okay, it, it's understandable. I, it's fine bluffs. So I have nothing wrong with the bluffs. Player, you learn one good and one evil but, card a turn, one of which is correct. Hello. But yeah, it is like, because the first night, nothing. First day, no secret meetings at all. But the second day, everyone goes for one. So I'm, I'm wondering if they were told that they couldn't, for some reason, talk separately on the first day. And I, I have... I I don't know why that would be the case. But... So, which Duncan was like, why'd you say that? Why did you say you were going to do something good? Now you're going to get murdered. I will pretend that you are an amazing role. Thank you. Ghost. <laughs> good. Should you be boo? Said my be okay. Thing. Opa won't die. So I've done. I've so. Which Duncan was like, why'd you say that? Why did you say you were going to do something good? Now you're going to. Get yeah, we're best mates. We both know what each other. And Dav has definitely lied to us at least well, once. You like to nominate Dav then, Ben? I'm gonna use my nomination on Dav, and you guys can yeah. do what you like. Okay. Who wants to vote for Dav? Put put your hands up. But I'm so confused because I don't know what. Oh yeah. So the, okay, this is basically referring to me that they're not using a gram. Um, they all put their hands up in a Discord call, which is basically the equivalent of the same here. The basic the visual effect is the same. Uh, basically, is you saying I vote this person out right and they're all wanting they look, too. Yeah. look I, I, if you keep me in i can i can learn i can choose two players and i can learn if either is a demon if you keep so he's okay so he's falling back on a fortune instead of which is uh, uh i'm not entirely i don't know no i don't know how i feel about that actually maybe i need to watch this again um but yeah i i don't know i i think Oh, I guess he would have had to. Yeah, no, he would have had to fall back on it because he said to a gambler that he was the saint. And then the gambler got it wrong. So the only way he can get out of it is saying, oh, I said saint, so I don't die, but I'm actually the fortune teller. But now he's just doubting himself. Like confirm ban. Here's the problem, though. If we don't kill a bad person this round, and if the imp kills someone tonight, that's the end of the game. No, no, it isn't. No, 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 it isn't, Ben. What? If the imp kills someone tonight, there's five alive. It'll leave four. Um. Uh. Have I got the rules wrong? Let me just pause. I'll I'll read the rules. Okay, I'm back. I read the rules. No, I I see no reason why it ends with four. I especially on an eight-player game with two evils. It shouldn't end on four. Um. Uh, maybe they got the rules wrong? Did they get the rules wrong? It's quite possible. Um, no, it, it shouldn't end on four. It, it shouldn't, Ben. Uh, I'm sorry, you got that wrong. The two it should not end on four. will cause a deadlock in voting and we'll never be able to kill anyone. Else. Okay, also not true. Um, so, as you can see here, it does not cause a deadlock in voting. Because, unless, unless... Unless Sarah, Booth, and Bryony use their votes this round, then yes, there would be a deadlock in voting. Um, but currently, with no one using the votes, because no one got executed on the first day, and no one has been executed so far, or has even voted, there are way, way more good votes than there are evil. Way more. In fact, you could even spend a dead vote here, and you'd still be fine. So, Ben is you're okay, wrong. So there are three votes for Daff. He's not mm. going to die yet. But if you want to nominate someone else, uh, you can. Also, if you want to nominate someone else, you could tie it. So you could vote three votes for someone else, and that would keep Daff alive. Um, so if you're sus of wait, tie, hang on, you can vote him, kill someone bad. And I can it's because I don't to vote for Daff. Okay, let's see who put puts their hands up. up. But One. I'm so okay, confused so because I, I don't a... know what Ben is too. Yeah, yeah. look, I, I, I mean, keep... <sighs> okay, so one. But I'm so. So, one of the people, so we could choose Booth to use their vote. Duncan had their hand up. Confused because I don't know what Ben Ozzy is. Ozzy had their hand up, so that's one, two. 
Uh, yeah. Look, I, I, if you keep me in, I can, I can learn. I can. And I think someone else had the hand. That's a Dunkers. That's three, which is, I think, enough to go through here. I believe it is. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's just double check because I'm fairly certain it is, and I'm questioning myself here because I'm like, I, there shouldn't be a player. There shouldn't be anything happening here. So yeah, let's just. Uh, I guess we'll just do self nomination. Yeah, three's enough. So, and there's a dead vote used. So. Where has been getting the information that there's not going to be enough votes? There's going to be enough votes. I, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. Um. I. Uh, huh. Whatever. Choose two players, and I can learn if either is a demon. If you keep me in, I can confirm bad. Um, Here's the problem, though. If we don't kill a bad person this round, and if the imp kills someone tonight, no. that's the end no. of the game. The two What's... bad people will cause a deadlock in... He's not gonna... mm. So you could vote three votes for someone else. A demon. I'm not... I don't want to talk about what I... Or it's over. That's... Okay. But I'm not going to give you the information I have. So... Kill you now. <laughs> Fortune. Dead Sarah's dead. Duncan could be... Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's okay, so they're uh, doing all this in discussion time. We should... Don't do it! So we, well, at least we, we've got one more. Just... Okay. We've we, we, we got to kill... nominate Ben? Gotta kill Dan I want to nominate Ben. Okay, I'm let's go. Okay, I'm going to nominate Ben as well. Don't do it! So we, okay, two just... separate... Okay. Got... Two separate nominations for Ben. The first one had to be taken, so it would be... Who was it, the first one? Boba. Boba would have nominated Ben there. I'm sorry, I think it's to nominate Ben. I was gonna nominate Ben. So, Boba, you want to nominate Ben? Okay, if you put your hands up now. Okay, that's three. That's a tie. Four. Like <laughs> okay. Right, so there's four votes for Ben. So currently, uh, Ben is gonna. So none of the other dead players use their vote. That's what I'm guessing out there. None no, of the uh, other players Daz use their Duncan vote. Duncan knows you can still. I'm so nervous. Um, you can still nominate someone if you want. Um, do they? No. Nope, no kid, do you want to nominate someone? <laughs> Next. Yeah. Uh, oh, down. And then... And you totally leave the office. Man. That, which doesn't... You you just cut yourself down. And yep, then... that's true. Totally they the don't die. Then. That die. Oh. I don't die. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, they don't die. Fine. Everything Ben's worked out. They Amazing. don't, they I don't, don't die. Ben's fine. <laughs> Oh, Why not? Lose now. Okay, no. And then no, you don't lose now. You don't lose now. Unless I've missed something. We, you don't lose now. Right. Well, this is bad, isn't it? Yeah. No! It is not bad! I'm so it's not! I don't know why they all went for me. It's what not. did I do wrong? I don't know. Oh, well. I also don't know, I'll be honest with you. Was that if we could confirm that he was the saint, then that would be great, you know? But yeah. We confirmed that he wasn't the saint instead, yeah. uh, which kept the game going for a tiny bit longer, I it guess. Did. <laughs> Daph, it, 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 would you like to kill someone tonight? Uh, okay, so Daph, I who does like he kill? kill? Who am I going to kill? Duncan, just for the long. Okay, Daph okay. kills Duncan. Well, you've just killed the drunk, um, which means you win, because there's only two people what? left. What no, you... no, what? no, no, Lewis, no, 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 Lewis, no, <laughs> no, no, stop. Stop! <laughs> no! No! Oh no! No no no! No, that's bad. Um. Oh my gosh! I. Oh god! Okay, I accidentally put. Oh god! Let me just do that then. Um. No, Lewis. No. No no no. No. <laughs> oh no, Lewis! The game's not over. The ga the game isn't over. It just. Okay, uh, <laughs> no, Lewis, Lewis, please, no. Okay, so I'm not. Uh, okay, so but let's let's just make it really visible for everyone, because there isn't a token. I don't think there is a token for a fool being used, is there? No. I mean, we could just put no ability, I guess. So yeah, used. Um. Actually, we should probably just put, uh, uh, I, I, yeah, I guess it should have no ability now. So yeah, no ability. We'll, 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 we'll type that in. No ability. So we can keep track of this, right? So during the day, uh, the team, everyone here had decided to nominate Ben. They didn't die. So they still have a life. They're still alive. Um, so they're not dead. The demon then killed Duncan, who was the drunk. 
I guess the game would have to end now anyway, because the demon now knows that Duncan's the drunk. So there, I... <laughs> okay. Um, oh, okay. So I don't entirely know what they think when... Why it has to end here. Why do they think it has to end here? I'm trying... I spent months trying to figure that out, and I'm I'm still bamboozled. I, I don't know. Ben has used their ability. He can die now. Boba's a Raymond Keeper. They can die anyway. These two can still be nominated by these two. There isn't a voting deadlock because none of the dead players currently, except Booth, has used their vote. Um, d d uh, I'll come back to you on that one. Hi, future me here. Um, I'm just going to... A theory that I've discussed with people and it's... This is slightly confusing, and I'm not... Uh, uh, we don't get why it's ending here. The, the, the short story is we don't get why it's ending here. Um, because the demon gets one more kill, uh, but there's also one more nomination. Uh, let's assume that no one, during the end of this day, nominated. So it stays as is, right? The demon could kill anyone, but I'm assuming since they know Ben's the Fool, they'll choose Ben the Fool, right? Let's just kill them. There's now three left alive. There still isn't a voting deadlock. There's still one good player that can nominate and execute the demon. It's final three now. Final three is now. Now. Right now. If if that happened, not here. Here is not the final day. It, it shouldn't be the final day at all. I, I can't think of a reason. Not one reason why it ends now. Uh... The, the only thing I can, uh, I, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. So my thing is, is that I, this is why I believe they're not using a grimoire or a bit of paper or anything to keep track of who's alive, who's dead, and who has what votes. Because we can see now with the no vote tick here, and even there's four alive with one dead and no one executing. Let's just assume, we will assume that no one chooses to execute tonight. It's a common thing on a final night, or a final day even, sorry, that no one executes. The only time you don't is if there's three evils alive. And there can't be three evils alive in this game. Not in this game that we're seeing here. There's only eight players. There's only two, at most, evil players, depending on the script. I don't know what the script is. Um, but let's just assume that, that, that what we see here, from the characters that we can see here and what we have been told, there is no possible way for there to be three evils right now. There can only be two. Therefore, tonight would be a safe night to just be like, I'm going to choose not to nominate or kill anyone. Let's be on the safe side here. The demon then has to kill someone. We go into night, right? There we go. We're in night. Ta-da. The demon kills someone. So they know Ben's the fool. They don't know what Boba is. I would probably choose Ben if I was a demon. So let's just choose Ben. Ben's dead. We go into day. Ah, oh, lovely. Ah, oh, Ben's dead. Ah, oh, shame. Um, there's still one good player alive. There's two evils alive. Yes, there's two evils alive. But the fact is that there's no voting. There's no way of evil to outnumber good here. The only way they're outnumbering right now is if those two evil team of Ozzy and Daph could convince everyone in town that Boba's evil. Or that Ozzy's the demon, right? It's the only way the demon could do this. So Boba would probably say, I nominate so on. And they would either nominate Ozzy and Death. And let's say, for example, they nominate Death. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total votes. I, 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 I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely stunned. Because unless, unless Lewis hasn't read a role properly, uh, it's also possible, I guess. Because I, I'm what I can only assume, what I can only assume is, is that he thinks, oh, if they execute the demon, even tonight with the voting, he thinks there's not enough votes. I don't entirely know then, because my theory falls on his fault. But what I was going to fall on his back even. Uh, what I was going to say is that even if they nominated the demon here, and they were successful and the demon dies. I'm pretty sure what Lewis thinks is, is that the demon would then p 
passed to the Scarlet Woman. The Scarlet Woman becomes a demon. The demon gets a kill. They kill someone. Final two, evil wins. Not the case because they need to read the ability of the Scarlet Woman. Because there were less than five people alive, at this point, if the demon died to execution, the evil team just straight up lose. There is no safety net. The only way that could be rectified is if during the night phase, choo, the demon chooses to execute themselves. It's the only way. Then the Scarlet Woman becomes the imp. And then there'll be no other kills. Wake up. Oh, well, looks like Daft's dead. It's the only way stuff can happen. I, I, I'm not seeing, personally, I'm not seeing another way that that can go. I, unless there is someone who is way more experienced than me, and I've gotten something incredibly, incredibly wrong, which is fair enough. I will hold my hands up if I get it wrong. I've, I have a storyteller that has made mistakes. I will admit to them. I'm not the best storyteller. Um, I'm a far better player than storyteller. I couldn't even tell my own game of my own script that well. So I just like having fun, okay? But I'm I I I don't entirely know why Ben thought that being here means you lose, and why the storyteller went along with it. Because if you're an experienced storyteller, even a, even a storyteller that has done ten games would know that at this point it's fifty fifty good and evil alive. This is actually a pretty good place to have it. Even though the Daffod's hella sus is a very good place to have it. Uh, for an, I guess, an, uh, a balanced a balanced uh, experience for everyone. Right, for the neutral. A balanced game. He, he ends it here. And I, I'm so confused as to why. I, I mean, I'd love to... It, it, hey, if any of the Yorks cast members are there... Or anyone in the editing team can send me the script of what you were using. Maybe I can figure out why. Um, because I'm, again, not so sure what the script is. Because this, with what we can see here, could be a hundred, a thousand different scripts, right? It, it could be so many. I even checked my own scripts just to make sure it wasn't one of mine. But I'm, I'm just like, uh, I, I can't, I can't foresee a script. And I've checked all of them that has this sort of ending that has a night four or like final four way of ending and the only thing i can think of is a poe charge so what a poe is and not imp even though we know it's an imp so uh, we'll we'll get rid of a roll right we'll get rid of daft's roll we'll bring up uh what's a poe under i can't remember what fucking script it's under it's bad moon rising i believe i can't remember yeah poe okay so it must be a script of a poet in it. It's the only thing I can think of. Unless it's just a singular demon. But the only thing I can think of is that you may choose to play... A, you, you, okay, so the poet says, each night you may choose a player. They die. If your last choice was no one, choose three players tonight. But there has been a death every night. So Lewis shouldn't be assuming that anything. So if there's a poet on script, regardless if they've done anything, they've killed every night. So it can't be a Poe charge, because the Poe right now, if it was charged, and I don't know, who did they last kill? Duncan. They they kept them alive, and it was a Poe charge. Then, this would be the final night. This would be the final day. Because, yeah, it, it, it can't be any other way. Because uh, they would have executed Ben. Ben wouldn't have died. Poe charge. Uh, Poe then chooses Duncan, Boba, and Ben. Evil team win. So, I, I don't think it's a script with a Poe in it, but it could be, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it could be, but I'm, I'm so confused. I, I don't entirely know why it ends here. And th that's the only theory I can come up with, is that it's a script for Poe, and for some reason, Lewis thought Daff was a Poe that charged? But... If that was the case, then them not executing anyone, the game would have been over last night when they ex when they didn't ex when Ben didn't die. It would have just been over. And if the demon had not selected anyone, it would just be over. Currently, right now, no, I I don't know. I literally don't know why it's a thing, and I've been trying to come up with a theory. But yeah, if we can take anything from this, and please do take something from this. Um, 
A, don't tell the gambler that they're ever wrong. Uh, it's for them to figure it out. B, use a grimoire, use a bit of paper, use something to keep track of votes and who's alive. Because I'm pretty sure they're not using anything here and they're just using Discord. Which is infuriating me to... Uh, I don't even know. And three, if you're going to put something on YouTube, and I, I know I can't say much here because I've not got much great experience, um, at least practice a little bit, right? Do a couple of games as a storyteller. I mean, even if you're a new storyteller and you want to be like, hey, I'm doing a video, or hey, I'm doing a stream, because there are many streams, many streams from the Pandemonium Institute, Patters, Alejo, uh, Connecticut, so on and so forth, right? You can even watch No Rolls Bard. No Rolls Bard have a great um, Blood on the Clock Tower series that you can watch and gather how things work. Don't be afraid to ask, like, a, a storyteller, an unofficial, or just anyone who has, like, a stream or a, a, a video of how to do something. Don't be afraid to ask. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just genuinely think this this is everyone's first time playing this. Like, everyone. I mean, I can understand people thinking right now it should end because there's a clear impasse. It's not the case. And the best way I can explain it to someone who is brand new to this game, just because it's equal 50-50 doesn't mean that there's a voting majority. As, as you can see here, it doesn't matter because we can see there's eight players with these uh, symbols in the middle. There's eight players there, four alive, and as you can see next to them, and it's the most crucial thing that you can see, even though you wouldn't have it, I don't think you have it in real life, it's down to you to see who's voted what and where. Um, in real life, you actually have to probably either get a bit of pen and a bit of paper and go, this person who is dead has voted, this person who is dead has voted, blah blah blah. But in a game like this where you have a visual grimoire, you can see who's voted and has used a dead vote. So there's seven votes. So the votes are not being outnumbered. If it looked a bit more like this, for example, then yes, evil team have won because there are not enough votes. Unless the unless Ozzy here, who I have no idea of her personality or whatever, decides to vote on death or vote on themselves, there is no way evil. Uh, there's no way it good can win. It's just an impasse right here. It would be final day. But since there are votes from Sarah. Uh, no, not Booth. Booth didn't have one. Bryony and Duncan. There is, there isn't a voting. Uh, there, there isn't a, uh, an impasse in voting power. There is, in fact, voting power has gone towards the good side, if anything, because they all have one vote, and I assume they would probably go. Oh well, Ben's the pool, probably good. Boba's keeping to themselves. Hasn't really talked to anyone. Fine. Daff has lied to a gambler. That's pretty off. I would probably go there. But let's keep it a night. I, I, I think that's maybe what would happen. I think most experienced storytellers would let this go to final three. Some might not. That's also fine. Uh, but yeah, also just the weirdness of the first night of no one going off to talk. I, I've double checked. I've, I've gone through it. Not a single one goes. And that's not even the grandmother and grandchild. They just come out in open. They just say, hey, I'm the grandmother and Sarah's my grandchild. Well, way to get two kills, I guess. Thanks. Um, <laughs> the demon must have been rubbing their hands at that. That's the only way that that could have happened. And I, I'm so baffled. I'm I'm so baffled. Lewis Brindley, please take some time. I, I, I'm not... This, this, is, this is clearly a new storyteller. I'm not advising you don't storytell. Please do keep storytelling. Keep storytelling, keep learning. But at this point, it's not game over. And just ask, like a, a storyteller. Even, even you can even ask me. I'm not. I'm not great. I'll be honest, but I, I can at least tell you that at right this point, it's not over. Um, but yeah, I'm. I'm so baffled. I'm so baffled. I d I don't get why it ended there. And I. I genuinely. I. I don't think there's many scripts that would end here. Like, like I said, unless there's a Poe, but it would have ended last night. Sure, I... Yeah, okay. Um, well, 
that's my review of how the Yorks cast played. If anything, I will tell you this if you're new and you haven't watched the Pandemonium Institute or No Rolls Far Blade, No Rolls Bar played Blood and the Cocktail or Patters or Alejo or any of the streams, any of the YouTube videos that are out there. I would suggest you watch some other YouTube videos before watching the Yorks cast. And if you've come here from the Yorks cast and you're wondering, huh, well, I guess this is easy. Do not, do not, do not think that this is the end game because this isn't and it's infuriating um, for someone who has played a lot of games and someone who has story told a few games. I don't think I've ever made this mistake. I might have done when I first story told, like when I first did it, I'm probably sure that I made the same mistake. So this is why I think this is Lewis's either first game or first couple of games storytelling. But, but no one else has played the game. So I, I, I would have, if I was Lewis in this situation, I would have called a voice, just someone who is an experienced storyteller, They'd be like, hey, can you help me figure out how to run a game? And then I will just run a game. And they'll be like, every, someone would just take you to one side and be like, here's how you play the game, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And yeah, you can go through a, di a load of different possibilities if you really wanted to. But yeah, I, I, I'm for anyone who's near here and you're equally as confused as me. Don't worry, I'm just as confused. Um, but yeah, I, I would ask Ben. Uh, is Ben, if you're watching this, is there a way from here that that it, it should end? Because I I don't know what script this is. So if anyone knows what script this is, just by the characters, um, please let me know uh, and send it to me. That'd be great in the comments. Just send me a link to the to the. Um, I guess it'll be like the, the, the Cat Tower info, the hub thing. Uh, please send me the link to that, and I can have a deep dive into why I think it happened. But I, I just assume that they just got the rules wrong, and I would like I would have probably gotten Lewis to say, "Hey Ben, do you mind storytelling for us?" Or like, "Hey, not this Ben, uh, Ben from the Pandemonium Institute, or Ed, or someone, just whoever could be a storyteller, just like, hey, do you mind storytelling? I will pay you whatever, or hey, do you mind? Even people would do it for free, probably. But yeah, I mean, it sounded like they had fun, but it's I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh boy. But if you like this video and you want me to explain or go into other gameplays that you see online, I think I might do uh, Ben Burns storytelling my own script next. Oh boy, that's going to be fun because at least then I have a script to go off and uh, it's one I have access to. But yeah, I'm so... Oh, <laughs> this is an hour long. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this down. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Consider supporting me on Patreon on Kofi if you want more of these. Um, I haven't got a lot of time in my day nowadays. My goodness, I'm so busy. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry this is so long, but yeah, holy crap, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye for now.